Okay, it's been slated for five minutes. I'm gonna make it for another two minutes and then we're good to go. So the mortar you use to install your tile on a floor or a wall, or whatever, is the adhesive that holds everything together. So when you mix it, you want to make sure that you mix it properly. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how to do that. We're going to mix this according to the directions, which is you add the water to the bucket, then you add five to six quarts of water. You mix it for five minutes, let it stand for 10 minutes, let it sleep for 10 minutes, and mix it again for two minutes. Now this is actually very important to, to do. And I'm gonna mix this on the high end of the water ratio because it says five to six quarts. I'm gonna put actually six quarts in because I want it to be a little wetter, but still able to hold a notch. So when I mix this, I'm gonna be using my mixing drill. I'm gonna measure the water. So add the water, add the powder, mix for five minutes, let it slake for 10 minutes, and then mix for another two minutes, and then I'll start spraying. I'm gonna mix the water. Okay, so mixing thin set might be, or might seem like a simple thing, but seems to be quite a bit of confusion. If you go on the internet and you look at the YouTube channels, uh, they tell you, oh, you gotta, you know, mix it with um, with water, and you gotta. Uh, mix it so it's a peanut butter consistency, consistency, a mayonnaise consistency, or, or whatever they, they say. That's actually pretty much all um, n incorrect. What you have to do to get the proper mix, the proper ratio of water to powder is follow the directions on the bag. So this might seem like a, an easy thing, but I see it all the time, you know, people are adding the powder and then they're adding the water and then they're mixing it up and then they're adding more powder or they're adding more water and they're trying to get it to the right consistency and then they don't even know what the right consistency is because, you know, they, they, they're just guessing at it. So the manufacturers of these thin sets have tested their, their products and they know how they're supposed to perform and the ratio of water that goes into it. So if you mix it according to the directions, you're going to get the same consistency every time and it's going to work the way it's supposed to work. What's in the bag is actually a lot of chemistry. So mixing it with too much water or mixing it uh, not long enough or not letting it sleek or not remixing it actually will, uh, will not give you the performance that the synth is supposed to give you. Even the type of paddle that you use uh, will change the performance of the thin set. So it's important to mix it the right way. And then what happens is many people will uh, mix that thin set, then it starts to get hard, so they add a little more water to it, and then they remix it, and then they keep using it. That's a very bad thing to do you never do that so anyway this video is to try and <clears throat> excuse me uh, add some clarity to how to mix thin set correctly okay so then you might say well I'll just read the directions on the bag and then I'll just mix it that way every time well actually it's important to read the directions every time because they can change and even uh, different kinds of thin sets from the same manufacturer can have different mixing instructions for different periods of time, different amounts of water, uh, slake, don't let slake. So I'm in this video, I'm just going to go through two or three different kinds of thin sets and just show you what actually uh, you're supposed to do. So as I mentioned, you're never supposed to add any water once it's mixed. And just to clarify that, once you add your water, you add your powder, and then you might hold a little water back in reserve, and then add that as you're mixing. But it's always going to be within the ratio of water that they set. Say this one here said five to six quarts, so you might want to put in five and a half quarts, and then uh, add the uh, the last half quart if it's not as 
the consistency you like. Once the thin set has slaked, that means that, that it has rested. You, you finished mixing it for the period of time, you let it rest, and then you mix it again. After the second mix, you never add water. If the, if the thin set starts to get hard, what you can do, or if it starts to firm up, what you can do is remix it. Don't add any more water, just remix it. You might be able to do that like once, possibly twice. If it starts to get hard again, throw it out, mix some new thin set. You never, never, never add water once the thin set has slaked. It changes the chemistry and the way the thin set cures. It'll make it much weaker. Never add water once it has slaked. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for 10 minutes. Okay, it's been slated for 10 minutes. I'll make it for another two minutes and we'll let it go. So the thin set I was mixing in this part of the video is Mape Ultraflex 2. And it had the, the directions, mix it for so many minutes, let it slake for so many minutes, and then remix it for so many minutes. Now, the I, on the same job I was using uh, Mape LFT, which is a different kind of thin set from the same manufacturer, and the mixing instructions are slightly different as the water ratio is different, the uh, initial mixing time is different, the slake time is different, and the remixing time is different. Same manufacturer, two different products, two different mi sets of mixing instructions. So it's very important to make sure that you look at the directions and see the correct mixing times and the ratio of water. In the next part of this video, I'm gonna be talking about a different manufacturer's thin set, a different kind of thin set that has completely different mixing instructions. So, uh, I just want to make it clear that when you buy your thin set, read the directions and mix accordingly. What I'm going to use is RX X77. This is uh, a lightweight thin set, so uh, 40, this is a 40 pound bag, so uh, actually it, it mixes up to the same volume as a 50 pound bag of regular thin set and this actually takes a lot more water than a, a regular thin set so this is actually takes like eight eight and a half eight and three quarter quarts of water to mix the whole bag but because uh, I don't want to mix the whole bag, I'm going to actually just mix small batches. And they actually tell you what to do to mix small batches. And it's um, you use two parts powder to one part water by volume. So that way you don't have to mix the whole bag. And if you don't use it, you waste it. This way you can just mix small batches and and you mix it to the right ratio and this is not like regular thin set where you, you mix it for uh, two to three minutes continuously and then you don't have to remix it doesn't have to slake so you know if you're going to use this x77 or any rx product like x x5 for example make sure you mix it according to their directions read the directions and they have their own paddle is supposed to use, which is this one here. I gotta clean this up a bit, but it's our own special paddle they have for mixing their thin sets. So that's what I'm gonna use. So this is a modified thin set. This is the all set, and it's the gray. And the standards for the thin sets. Uh, these here, the ANSI A118.4 T, ANSI A118.11, and ANSI A118.15 T, which is suitable for plywood. See these numbers here? A118.4 and A118.11. The A118.4 means it's polymer modified. It tells you right there, polymer. 
and the A118.11 means it's good for plywood. So this, okay, so I'm going to use a battery tri-light as my adhesive. Set. That's also a okay, 118, 118.11, 118.4. This is uh, custom pro, pro light and it's a lightweight thin set. Okay, so this is the thin set I'm going to be using by Adex. It's Adex X5. It's actually 40 pounds, but it gives you the same yield as a 50 pound bag. And it's a little bit lighter weight. And they want you, when you mix this, they want you to measure the water and add the whole bag. If you're going to mix the whole bag, measure the water into the container, add the bag, and mix it for two to three minutes. Don't, not to mix it less than that, so that it gets its full. Um, creaminess and uh, it'll it'll work much better if you mix it for less time it tends to remain stiffer so but when you mix it for the for the recommended amount of time it becomes very creamy and easy to use and spread so this is the X5 so just in case you haven't seen my videos before uh, my name is Sal de Blasi I've been a tile contractor for over 30 years 34 years to be precise and I operate out of the Boston area. So I got a lot of experience. I try to follow uh, TCNA standards uh, and do things the correct way. So when you visit my channel, I've got um, almost 700 videos that uh, is all about time. So don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. And also check me out my online store, dibsmart.com. Uh, I sell a lot of tile tools there. I sell a steel up system here as well. So uh, check me out over there. And also, if you don't mind, check me out on Patreon. And if you can support me there, that'd be great. Anyway, most important thing, subscribe. Thanks a lot.